China just opened source a robot brain that the government says is the first to pass its national autonomy standards. It's one of several recent major developments from China's capital, where a fast-rising startup just closed a historic funding round, while a newer firm with a large war chest boasted an industrial automation breakthrough. And another rising robotics firm is sending this hyper-realistic android into the service sector. The state-backed Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center says its newly released Vision Language Action Model is the first to clear China's official benchmarks for embodied artificial intelligence. Formalized in April 2025, the government-defined checklist spells out what a robot's brain must do before it's truly intelligent and real-world ready. At a minimum, an autonomous robot must understand its surroundings, make decisions independently, move without hurting anyone or breaking anything, and finish jobs on its own without constant human oversight. The Beijing Innovation Hub, also known as X Humanoid, is roughly what it would look like if DARPA merged with Boston Dynamics and could set national standards. We're going to have a lot of robots helping us because we need it. The center launched in November 2023 after the Chinese government made it national policy to mass produce humanoids by 2025 and to own the market by 2027. It brings together leading tech firms, research labs, and state support to address core robotic challenges and build an ecosystem for others to design and improve their machines. Just over two years later, the People's Republic has easily surpassed its initial goal of manufacturing at least 10,000 robotic humanoids by the end of 2025. Perceived leaders in the West like Tesla, Figure, and 1X Technologies have not started shipping units at scale, yet they exude confidence that their advanced artificial intelligence software will give them the ultimate edge as they plan to ramp up hardware production in 2026. China is challenging that assumption with open source technology, hoping to capture another deep seek moment as it kicks off the year of the horse. Beijing's Humanoid Innovation Center says its XR1 model closes the gap between perception and action in robots. It uses what the center calls unified vision motion control to link what a robot sees with how it moves. That means actions come from understanding situations rather than pre-scripted commands that even the most advanced humanoids today rely on. According to X-Humanoid, its AI brain learns in three stages. First, it learns simple, reusable movements on its own, primarily in simulation. Then it studies large amounts of data collected from many different robots. And finally, it refines those skills through real-world practice until the behavior becomes reliable. X-Humanoid says the system can be used across different humanoids and form factors instead of being rebuilt from scratch each time. It's an approach that well-backed Western firms like physical intelligence and skilled AI are also embracing. The Beijing Innovation Hub tested its vision language action model with its self-developed humanoid, Tiangong, which is known for winning the world's first humanoid robot half marathon in Beijing in April 2025. According to X Humanoid, experiments involving more than 14,000 real-world runs across six different robot bodies and over 120 manipulation tasks outperform competing systems. X-Humanoid shared demo footage to support its claims. One of the demos features the center's wheeled humanoid, Tianyi, opening five different kinds of doors on its own. Opening doors is one of the basic tasks that are easy for humans, but notoriously challenging for robots. Before entering a doorway, a robot must first recognize what kind of door it's facing, then find its handle and figure out how to grab it, apply just the right amount of force, and then adjust in real time if the door sticks, swings faster than expected, or is heavier than it looks. The XR1 model reportedly has more than a million self-collected data points. X-Humanoid operates dedicated facilities where robots repeatedly practice tasks while cameras, sensors, and motors record everything they see and do. The Innovation Center released the model with two key supporting pieces. 
RoboMind 2.0, a dataset with more than 300,000 task trajectories captured from real robots. And Art VIP, a massive collection of digital twins for simulating real-world settings. X-Humanoid claims that blending synthetic Art VIP data with real-world RoboMind trajectories improves task success rates by more than 25% in certain scenarios. The assets are hosted on Hugging Face under standard open licenses. Beijing could be the most heavily funded humanoid robotics ecosystem in the world, with its combination of municipal, national, and private capital. Among its leaders is Galba, which just announced a new funding round exceeding $300 million, bringing its total capital raise to $800 million. The funding values Galbit at around $3 billion, which the startup said makes it the highest valued Chinese humanoid company. However, Hangzhou based Unitree Robotics is reportedly targeting a $7 billion valuation as it heads toward an initial public offering on Shanghai's tech heavy star market. Galbit says it's working with partners like CATL, Bosch, Toyota, and Hyundai to deploy its autonomous wheeled humanoids in industrial settings. A newer startup, Tars Robotics, reportedly raised around $242 million to automate tasks requiring human-level precision. Tars is short for Trusted AI and Robotic Solution. Launched in February 2025, it's led by Chen Yilin, who previously served as Chief Technology Officer and Chief Scientist of Huawei's self-driving unit. The team spent most of 2025 developing a full-stack autonomous humanoid platform initially targeting smart manufacturing and logistics use cases. They just unveiled their first two prototypes. The Wheel E-Series humanoid is meant for industrial work, while the Bipedal T-Series version is for general-purpose applications. TARS says it develops its own hardware and software to ensure each component translates smart commands into precise physical actions. The robotics firm claims its flagship is the first humanoid that can perform hand embroidery. Its bolder claim is that it's the first robotics firm to solve the wire harness manufacturing bottleneck that's long frustrated the automotive and aerospace sectors. While TARS heads toward pilot deployments in 2026, another rising Beijing humanoid firm says it shipped more than 2,000 units this year. Noetics Robotics gained international attention in fall 2025 for its aggressive pricing strategy. Its compact humanoid, named Boomies, stands 94 centimeters or just over 3 feet, which is significantly shorter than most of its peers from companies like Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics and Shenzhen's Engine AI. But it's also about a tenth of the price of their entry offerings with its $1,400 price tag. As reported by Humanoids Daily, a pre-sale listing on JD.com shows more than 500 units booked in the first days of the launch. Now entering 2026, Noetics is pushing its hyper-realistic creations into the service sector. The startup, launched in September 2023, recently introduced its new humanoid, the Hobbs W1, with a bionic expressive head mounted on a wheeled base and an interactive screen on its chest. Unlike most social robots, the Hobbs W1 has two robotic arms with five degrees of freedom each and five-fingered hands, each with six moving joints. That's not as dexterous as industrial end effectors like the Wuji hand, the sharper wave, or the hand of clone. But it's enough for light physical tasks like handing people objects and pressing elevator buttons. The Android head has dual GPUs for onboard computing so it can interact with people without constant cloud connectivity. It uses advanced sensors for speech recognition and emotion detection. Its outer layer is flexible synthetic material that can be styled in different tones and textures. The humanoid in Noetics's marketing video bears a striking resemblance to the popular Chinese influencer Giovanna who has been mistaken as an actual robot by millions in viral clips like this. The 30-year-old started posting to Douyin, China's TikTok equivalent, in 2018, but her visibility skyrocketed in 2024, when she started cosplaying as a humanoid robot under the persona Dalyashin. For more on her mechanical transformation, check the related video.